everyone and welcome to the Global Video Hop. This is Jackie Williams and this month we are focusing on masculine cards. So I wanted to do something just a little bit different and make a young masculine card and I wanted to use the Turtle Friends bundle which I love partly because it's so cute and because it uses a punch and we all love the bundles that come with punches for just quick and easy projects. Now this card I thought would be very fun to make a young boy or even a, a baby boy card. And I wanted to make it a shaker card and using maybe some colors that were a bit unexpected. So I have a So Saffron card base that is five and three quarter inches by eight and a quarter. So it's just slightly different than the usual card size. And then I have cut a piece that is about four inches by five and five eighths inches for the front out of thick basic white. And this is a new pair of embossing folders called Checks and Dots. And on the first sample I showed you, I used the checks. And on this sample, I wanted to use the dots. Now these are the three inch embossing folders. However, it's really actually quite easy to emboss it and then line up one line of the dots and emboss it again. So if you want to use it for more of a full size card, it's actually not that tricky. So I've adhered that to the front. I'm gonna set that aside and now let's make our shaker portion. So the first thing is I've made a frame with So Saffron cardstock and I've used my stitched rectangle dies and I have used the second largest rectangle and then the fourth largest rectangle. And what you do is you run them through at the same time. Actually, they don't have to be at the same time, but I did. And then you're left with this frame. And then this inside rectangle piece you can set aside for another project on another day. And that's gonna be the frame for our front. And then we wanna adhere in our window sheet or the acetate. And so I've put adhesive on the back. Now you'll see that I have another layer of the frame in another color. When I was designing, I um, had just some extra ones as I was figuring out what colors I wanted to do. And so I decided to just go ahead and use those and adhere it together just to give it a little more strength. So you could do that with some cardstock or even the backing of your designer series paper. Okay, so I've adhered the window sheet straight onto the cardstock onto the back. And then we wanna add our dimensions or dimensionals, but I'm gonna to choose to use the foam adhesive strips. And there's two reasons why I wanna use these for my shaker card. One, they're very easy. There's no gaps other than in the corners pretty much um, and also because they are just that little bit taller than dimensionals so they're going to give our shaker pieces that that little fraction more room to shake around because sometimes with shaker cards you know your little um, shaky pieces get stuck which is okay too but this just gives it those a little bit more space now I am using a three by four and a half piece of the Pattern Party Designer Series paper. And you might be thinking, I miss those, where are those? These are actually in the host section of the new annual catalog. So if your order qualifies, you can choose these papers as your free gift. And it's a huge pack with all sorts of prints that uh, work in with existing prints in the catalog. And then we're using the Shaker Shapes embellishments. So I chose these papers because they match quite well with these shaker shapes. That's probably a bit generous. So you'll notice we're putting the shaker shapes onto the paper, not inside the well, which is a common mistake. And get them down so they're, you know, just one or two layers, so it's not too thick. And then we're going to go ahead and lay this over the top, making sure you have it the right way up and then give it a little press, just to make sure there's no little gaps for these little shaker pieces to slide through. And then that creates our shaker portion. We're gonna go ahead and put that onto our card front. So happy, and what person, young or old, doesn't love to play with a shaker card? 
Now we're just gonna add our cute little turtle onto the front. So I have stamped the turtle twice, and then I'm gonna add the detail to his shell in Pool Party. Now we'll use our punch upside down and just punch out our two turtles. And this one's the better shell, so I'm going to just cut the shell out of this punch. And I'm going to layer that up on top of this one with dimensionals just to give our Mr. Turtle just that little bit more interest and dimension. So this one you're only going to see the body and I'm just going to color him in with the Stampin' Blends and I'm going to use the Granny Apple Green. Now if you find you have harsh lines you just want to keep going over those lines with your uh, light Stampin' Blend until it just starts to blend. And I did do a whole video on using Stampin' Blend, so you might want to check that out too. Then we'll put this shell on top of this one with our dimensionals. And just your standard dimensionals are fine for this. Okay, then we'll put him up on our card front. And then for our happy birthday words, these words are from this set. And I've stamped them with black stays on ink on vellum and just a half inch of vellum and I'm just going to trim that straight and then I'm just going to flag the end or cut a little banner shape on the end cutting up the middle and then cutting from one corner to the top of that slit then I will use my bone folder just to give this a little bit of curl then I'll use my glue dots one at the end and one here where the bottom of that curve is. I'll just tuck that in underneath my turtle. Like so. Then the last step is to use the shimmery crystal effects. So if you look at my finished sample, you see how that turtle has got that beautiful shiny shell. Now you could do it all over the shell, so it's one big shiny shell, or you could do it on each of the little elements of the shell. Now once you have that on, it's going to take a few hours to dry, so you'll just want to leave it alone. Now I have opted to take one of the little hearts from the uh, Shaker Shapes and drop it right into that crystal effects. You could let it dry and then glue that on later if you want. And then inside the card, you could stamp the little baby turtle and maybe add some more words if you wish. And then again, I added another little heart to the front. So I hope you enjoyed that and make this up as a little one or two or three year old birthday card or even as a welcome new baby card. And enjoy the rest of the hop. This is Jackie Williams and thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye.